Hello, bacho. In this question, it is given that the angle between the straight lines whose direction cosines are given by the equation 2L plus 2M minus N equals to 0 and MN plus NL plus LM equals to 0 is. We have to find the which of the following is the answer. So, let us write the key concept. This question ka key concept is if there are two direction ratios that is A1, B1, C1 and A2, B2, C2 then the angle between them is given by cos theta is equals to A1, A2 plus B1, B2 plus C1, C2 divided by root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square. Now let us use this key concept and solve the problem. Here we have two equations that is 2L plus 2M minus N equals to 0. We can simplify and write this equation as N is equals to 2 into L plus M. Let us take this as equation 1. Now we have another equation. Mn plus Nl plus Lm is equals to 0. Now if we take N common from the first two terms. Then we will have N into L plus M plus Lm is equals to 0. From equation 1 we have the value of N. So we can substitute 2 into L plus M instead of n into l plus m plus lm is equals to 0. We can write this as 2 into l plus m whole square plus lm is equals to 0. Now let us expand this using a plus b whole square formula. Then we will have 2 into l square plus m square plus 2 lm plus lm is equals to 0. So, if we simplify this, we have an equation like 2L square plus 2M square plus 5LM is equals to 0. Now, let us divide by M square on both sides. Then we will have 2 into L by M whole square plus 2 plus 5L by M is equals to 0. Now, let us take L by M is equals to T. Then we will have 2T square plus 5T plus 2 is equals to 0. Now, let us factorize this using splitting the middle terms. Then we will get 2T square plus 4t plus t plus 2 is equals to 0. Here let us take 2t common from the first two terms. Then we will have 2t into t plus 2. Now here let us take 1 common. Then we will have t plus 2 is equals to 0. Now we can write this as 2t plus 1 into t plus 2 is equals to 0. From this we have the value of t as minus 1 by 2 as one value and t is equals to minus 2 as another value. Now we have t as l by m is equals to minus 1 by 2 which implies that m is equals to minus 2 l and we know that from equation 1 n is equals to 2 into l plus m. So we have 2 into L minus 2L which is equals to 2 into minus L. So N is equals to minus 2L. So we have L comma M comma N as L comma M is minus 2L comma N is minus 2L. So we can say that 
the direction ratio is proportional to this or the directional ratios is equals to 1 comma minus 2 comma minus 2. This is one direction ratio. Let us take this as 1. Now we have t is equals to minus 2. Then L by M is equals to minus 2. This implies that L is equals to minus 2M. Similarly, N is equals to 2 into L plus M. From this we can say that N is also equals to minus 2M. So we have L comma M comma N as minus 2M comma M comma minus 2M. So here also we can say that the direction ratio is either proportional to this or the directional ratios are equals to minus 2 comma 1 comma minus 2. So we have two directional ratios. Let us take A1 is equals to 1 and B1 is equals to minus 2 and C1 is equals to minus 2. And we can take A2 is equals to minus 2, B2 is equals to 1 and C2 is equals to minus 2. Now cos theta that is the angle is given by A1 into A2. 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 plus B1 into B2. Minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 plus C1 into C2. That is minus 2 into minus 2 is plus 4. Divided by root of A1 square is 1 plus B1 square is 4 plus C1 square is 4 into root of A2 square is 4 plus B2 square is 1 plus C2 square is 4. This is equals to 0 by 9 which is equals to 0. So cos theta equals to 0. Then theta is equals to cos inverse of 0. So cos inverse of 0 is pi by 2. So theta is equals to pi by 2. Now the angle between the straight lines is equals to pi by 2. So we can say that option D is correct. Hope you understood the solution. Thank you, Bacho.